Good day, people. Hope everyone is well. So I want to talk a little bit today about the difference between self-esteem and reality confidence. I think a lot of people talk about the importance of self-esteem and how people need to, I guess, feel good about themselves, uh, not be over-critical of themselves, and that a healthy self-esteem is really vital to a person's ability to thrive. And I don't want to speak against it so much as I want to say that there's a different way to think about some of those same qualities, but that don't have some of the, the problematic baggage and I think some of the assumptions that go with it. And it's by the notion of reality confidence. Now, one of the ways to maybe just illustrate it is to look at the way the classroom shakes out. I think many people know that you know in grade schools and in high schools, kids win an award for just about everything. There's almost like a cult of self-esteem pursuit where people believe that you know children will get discouraged or they're they're going to very easily be too difficult on themselves and you know they're going to suffer from a loss of self-esteem and there's all kinds of social problems that come from this and it may come from forms of neglect in the home and there's just all kinds of other sources to the loss of self-esteem but the attempt to try to give self-esteem is basically uh, tell everyone that they're doing a good job no matter how they're doing and to give confirmation and affirmation and to be supporting and you know awards and pats on the back for all and you know I think part of that was maybe a reaction against the harsh criticisms that maybe were the generations before where people would tell people openly without any sensitivity to the person that they were not doing things right and their you know level of participation or their level of competence just was insufficient and they maybe degrade people or you know sort of left people crushed in the dust and and feeling bad about themselves okay I think by the notion of reality confidence you bring it about in a certain way, and it has to do with what I would call, you know, grade calibration. And grade calibration is something like this. You know, the, the ideal classroom, it provides students with enough variety of material and a, a wide enough range of difficulty levels. There have to be some things that are fairly easy, some things that are fairly, you know, medium range, and then some things that are really difficult. And you you try to saturate the environment as much you can you you provide much more learning than could ever be tested upon and then you from that you try to examine and you you create exams over you know, some of the easy materials some of the more middle materials and some of the more difficult materials and then here's where it starts to become calibrating now when the students hand in their exam the task is to and this is the most demanding part for the professor it's I think it's the most valuable part for the student but it's where the student does a really good job and I mean when they have an A response you have to mark it A and when they have a kind of a B response they're missing some things it has to be marked B and when they are a little off and they've missed some things they've obviously been to class and they're they're trying again I think people go you know right ballpark you're not in the right direction you know you got the gist of it but you're not really getting where you want to be you go see and then the person who's you know maybe they had a, a piece or a something from that day it was related hardly there again you're getting the dean and then this person who just doesn't make any sense that gets the F and the more that you calibrate to that person on any given exam. So on a given exam, you know, a given student, when they know that they knew that question and then they get an A, and when they know that they knew, you know, they, they knew they didn't know it, right? They thought for sure that, that was a bomb. And then they get an F on that. And then there's one they thought, you know, I really didn't know it, but I think I knew a little bit of that. And then they get a C on that. That builds reality confidence. What collapses reality confidence is when they write an A response and the professor just gives it like a C or an F, or when they give a D or an F response and the professor goes, oh, good job, an A or a B. Either one of those end up with people thinking that everybody's full of crap. See, I think some students, they've been so subject to the regime of self-esteem 
and haven't really been exposed to practices of reality confidence, that they haven't learned how to calibrate themselves. They don't know how to trust what they know from what they don't know. You can just see it. I think some people think that everybody's full of crap, and what you do is you just walk around and BS. And that, I think, comes from not having direct experience, not having direct feedback on do you really know this or do you just think you know it or do you really know that you don't know this and how well can other people agree that that's what your state is. Uh, at any rate, those are some thoughts. Hope everyone is well.